So what we got on the channel today, yes, we're making French sticks. They are the short version, because obviously you guys at home have only got small ovens. So we can actually only do half size French sticks. Now normally my French sticks are that long, but the ones we're gonna be doing is that long. You could call them baguettes, you could do but they are French dick. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget to check out the description because that is where you're gonna find your recipe. And without no ado, let's get straight on with the recipe. And for your recipe, you want 907 grams of French flour, 18 grams of salt, nine grams of bread improver, 28 grams of yeast, and 600 grams of warm water, and a pinch of sugar. Put a pinch of sugar into the bowl of water, Add in your yeast, just crumble it around. Put in around about 300 grams of the flour, give or take. It doesn't have to be exact. And just whisk this round so it's fairly smooth. Then just cover this over. Now leave this for around about 20 minutes, give or take. Well, that's ready, it's all nice bubbled up. Normally I'll wait until it gets up a bit higher, but that's fine. All we need now is our flour. Just put our other dry ingredients into it. Just give it a mix round, like that. Right, and we'll go and put this onto the machine. Put in our liquid. Add in our flour. If you've got a three speed machine, you'll be needing to mix it for one minute to start with. Then once again, the same as I'm gonna be doing, mix it for five minutes and then test the dough, see if it's okay. So we'll get ours straight on. Right, we'll check our dough. Yeah, that's that's okay. It doesn't want to be too hard, and that's just just right. That is. So we'll give that another five minutes. Right, we'll just check the dough. Now, what you want is it wants to be nice and smooth. Well, this isn't very smooth at all. And as you can see, the window is breaking up. Now we want to be able to pull that apart so you can actually see a window and this isn't a window, so. Dough's ready. Spray a bit of oil around. That makes it just a bit easier to get it off. And that is beautiful. You got a nice window. Put a bit of flour down. We're not resting this for a minute. We're gonna scale this straight off. So you want to be scaling this off at 10 ounces, which is 280 grams. I know you've got a bit left. You can turn that into a bit of a roll or something. So what we need to do with these now is just mold them into like a little oblong shape. So get your dough like this and just fold it over and just over the top like that. Once again, take your dough, just fold it over. And once again, just over and over like that. So you know what we're gonna be doing with these? Yes, that's right, we're gonna cover them over. We're gonna leave them there for around about 10 minutes. Right, they're just ready. So that's your little French stick tray. So you wanna be rolling them out to about that length. So to start with, the easiest way to do it is to grab hold of it and just pull it outwards. Squash it out a bit, like that. Fold in, fold in, and do the same that way. And then just over the top again, like that. Now this is the way I would normally do it. It's gra grab my fingers just like this, down like this, grab hold of it, and over, and roll it up. Whichever method you do, it's exactly the same. You still get the seam on the bottom. See? So we need to be rolling them out to that length now. And like that. And that should be long enough. And it should fit straight onto your tray. And that's how they are. So you don't want to cut them yet. We want to let them prove up a little bit. Let them prove up a little bit, say halfway. Now I would be looking at these in around about 15 minutes time, and then we'll pre-cut them. It's now time to put your oven on. Your oven temperature wants to be 210 to 220 Celsius. 
there's our tray in the bottom of the oven that has got water in it so we'll leave that in there so this oven's almost up the temperature to be honest uh, but if you've put yours on now put that tray in at the same time as you put your oven on and that'd be great stuff because the, at least the water is going to be nice and warm then and as you can see they've proved up a little bit put a little cut down the middle like this You really want to be proving these sort of around about 25 Celsius. But at the moment, I'm just going to leave them like this because they're coming up nicely. And when they're filled out that tray down the side there, it, they're practically ready. So there's our bread proved up. So what we're going to do now is get them straight into the oven. We're going to be baking these for 20 minutes. After 10 minutes, take the water out and turn them round in the oven. So there's your French sticks out. I mean, you could call them baguettes really, but they are actually half the size of a French stick because a French stick would be double this size. Baked lovely on the bottom. They do feel nice and crusty. Really pleased with those. Now to see inside, that's what it looks like inside. So it's got a nice texture. The other side's got a bit of an hole in it. Ah. Oh well, if you want a hole, there you go. There's one. <laughs> but that French flour is lovely. The machine has helped a lot as well. That is quite a little bit of volume, that is. <laughs> and that is only 10 ounces, you know, in old money. That is really good. I'm well impressed with those. I make these at work and I use the same recipe. Okay, it's a little bit different at home and I'm in a different, I'm in a controlled area at work. Here I'm not really controlled. So I'm basically the same as you guys at home, all over the shop. And I'm a professional. But the main important thing is if you've got your room temperature which is around 20 celsius now the next video i'll do on french sticks we're going to do a slower version of this a more a, what i call a more traditional type of french stick we're not going to do it over a few days by the way it will be all done in the same day the only difference is you probably have to go to bed and get up to bake no i'm only joking well i'll see you very shortly on the crazy maker channel laters